Hey guys, today's video is about facing the possibility of a Trump presidency. Um, no matter what aisle you, you know, what side of the aisle that you're on, you have to face the possibility that this can happen. Um, you know, if Biden wins, there's other possibilities. And if Trump wins, there's a possibility. And right now, Trump is on all the headlines when it comes to the crypto space. So I wanted to talk about that and see if this would be beneficial. Right now, it appears to be very beneficial for the crypto space. And I just wanted to go over the headlines right now and to see what that type of presidency would look like. Um, so let's take a look and see what's going on in the market. So if we look at the market currently, Bitcoin is taking a little bit of a break currently, a little bit. Um, we're still above the 55, 56 that we were a couple of weeks ago. We're at 64, down 1.5 percent. Um, and, you know, right now things are looking good. You're ready to hit that next level and hopefully make new time, all time highs by the time the Bitcoin conference comes around. Um, but speaking of Bitcoin conference, Trump will be a big speaker there. That happened next week. Even after what took place this past weekend, he still wants to go. He still wants to talk. And I would like to hear what he's going to say, what type of announcements he'll make to say that if he is president, this is what he would do. Um, who knows? Maybe make Bitcoin a reserve currency. He probably can't do that. But we'll see what he says about it. Um, I, I just think that it'll be a lot of adoption. Lots of adoption. We know how his followers, people that believe in Trump, they really believe in his every word. Um, and that can just bring more adoption to the space, in my opinion. So let's look and see what he said. This was at the RNC. And uh, let's be pretty, uh, let's see if he had anything interesting to say about it. Bitcoin and the like. To further secure America's future and create opportunity for young people, I will end Joe Biden's war on crypto and we will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in America. We're going to keep it right here and a lot of it's going to be done right here in Florida. Right? And I will always protect Medicare and Social Security for our great so he got on to, you know, the other topics, but he wants to keep Bitcoin and make the U.S. a mining hub more than it currently is. Right now, we know Texas has a lot of the mining hubs, maybe Florida. I know Georgia has CleanSpark, um, but, you know, it's nice to hear something like this versus, you know, the likes of Elizabeth Warren and her war on crypto and everything. Um, so maybe this is a change, you know, and even if Trump does get elected, maybe Biden and the Democrats will see just that there is an appetite for this. And, you know, the younger generation, they want this. They want innovation here in the U.S. You want to keep it in the U.S. Don't push these companies, these projects out of the U.S. It's not a good look. Definitely not. But this is positive. Um, also, uh, you know, he is uh, like we talked about earlier in the video. He is going to be speaking. So can't wait to hear what he has to say about it. Um, and then also he floats J.P. Morgan's CEO, Jamie Dimon, may be a nomination for Treasury Secretary if he is elected. Now, this is crazy because Jamie Dimon not too long ago was ragging on Bitcoin, ragging on crypto and all the like, saying that it, it was worse. But we do know that, you know, JP Morgan is involved in blockchain. So, you know, he says one thing here and then behind his back, he's doing something else. But Trump did say that he has changed his mind, meaning Jamie Dimon, about Bitcoin. So. Could this be another person that's finally understanding and seeing what Bitcoin's all about? I can only wait and see. Also, what's positive for Bitcoin? Uh, traders are seeing that a Fed rate cut could happen by September. So at 100% here in the U.S., we should be getting a rate cut. Will it be a quarter point? Would it be 0.50? No one knows. Either way, that's very, very bullish. And there possibly could be another cut after that. And right in line, that falls with the November elections. So things are looking very, very positive for the crypto space. We got all the FUD out of the way. You know, we got uh, Germany selling. We still have Mt. Gox selling. But even though they're selling, the price of Bitcoin really hasn't gone down too much. Asia is buying currently. I bit as far as BlackRock. They're still, there's so many inflows. They haven't sold any. Grayscale is slowing down their buying. So just the stars are aligning for Bitcoin. And we know that if Bitcoin rises, all the alts will follow as well. But I just want to put this in perspective that if 
something like this were to happen, this is what can happen to the crypto space. And also, Mark Cuban, who is a Democrat and who is supporting re-electing Joe Biden, said that uh, Silicon Valley is backing Trump because of crypto, because of Bitcoin specifically, because they know that he is very favorable to Bitcoin and that can just rise and pump their bags. So he says that basically um, that the potential inflationary impacts of lower taxes and higher tariffs under a second Trump presidency could drive up the price of Bitcoin. And that's pretty obvious, right? And then the JT Vance he selected, Trump did for his um, VP. Um, you know, this VP is pro crypto. As of his disclosure of 2022, he held up to $250,000 worth of Bitcoin. So. Again, you know, we got the Fed rate cut, the Fed rate cut coming up in 100% Fed watch. Analysts, investors, they're all predicting that they will cut in September. And if you add all this together and looking at the polling right now, it's not looking too favorable for Biden, but anything could change. Um, the stars may be aligning for people that have been holding Bitcoin and crypto. Um, so if we get something in there, you know, someone that's uh, accepting of crypto, uh, and, and you just have everybody behind it and just increase adoption. The price of crypto will go to places that we've never seen. Bitcoin will definitely hit six figures. And guys, you won't even believe what's about to happen. So just be aware, you know, <laughs> make sure you're paying attention to macro politics and all this. A lot of things could be happening here, guys. And I just wanted to make a quick video about that. So guys, hope you enjoy. Please keep stacking. Right now, 64 seems like a lot of money. But if things go the way I think they will, pretty soon you'll wish you bought a little bit at this price and the price of everything else will rise as well. So I'm very, very excited about what's about to happen. You know, six months from now, I'll play this video and I'll look at myself and say, wow, you know, I remember this. So, guys, enjoy yourself until next time. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of this and uh, talk to you later. Bye.